Here's another update to my 3D printer build. As you can see, I finished the frame, and that's because I got a bunch of parts in that will enable me to finish the project, or at least get it properly running. First off, I got a heated bed and build platform, so it's a piece of aluminum with a PCB on the back, and this right here is the heating element. It's not very big compared to the rest of the printer, but it'll do just fine for now until I decide what size of an aluminum plate to get for the actual bed. Next I have an AZ SMZ board. I got this from China, of course. It runs Smoothieware. It's a 32-bit board. It was only $50, and it seems pretty fully featured for the price. It has removable drivers. It didn't come with any drivers, but you know you can use whatever drivers you want, which is great in my opinion because I can switch from these Allegra drivers that I bought to TMC 2100s in the future whenever I want. So that's a big bonus. I also got tons of corner brackets. This is one box of two and that's enabled me to start working on the frame and I also have this big beefy inductive sensor. I didn't expect it to be quite this beefy but there it is and it'll probably work just fine. Onto the frame it's pretty sturdy and I'm really happy with how it's coming out. All the, all the corners seem fairly flush, if it ever comes into focus. They all seem fairly flush and very nice. I think I did a pretty good job putting it together and I pretty much used corner brackets wherever possible. So it should be very sturdy. And here we have the sort of Z and X gantry assembly thing. So this whole thing slides up and down on rails that are not yet installed and then the black gantry slides back and forth to make the x-axis. And that's pretty much what I have so far, but now that I have all the parts and I'm on break, I can spend a lot of time putting this together so you'll see lots more updates. Thanks for watching.